Hey foodies, I love strawberry pie and nothing says springtime like strawberry pie. You can do this recipe from fresh or frozen strawberries. I'm using frozen strawberries that I picked from last year because I just like getting a jump on the season of strawberry season. You can also add rhubarb to add a bit more zing. You can do blueberries, raspberries, whatever you really want. But I'm just gonna stick the simple classic recipe of strawberry pie. So the recipe you can find up right here and it's gonna start with strawberries in a pot and you're gonna notice that I've got quite a bit of frost on my strawberries. That's okay because it's just gonna turn into water and it's gonna evaporate once you bring your pot to a boil. I'm gonna add my sugar, a little bit of lemon juice and the reason you add the lemon juice is to add a little bit of pop, zing, and to keep the color going. So I'm gonna sprinkle that over top and I've got one small thing and that is a little bit of flour and you need right in your water. And the reason I'm mixing it up with a bit of water is so that I don't get chunks of flour in my pie. Because I want to bite into strawberries. I don't want to bite into chunks of flour. And you can see just how much smoother that looks. And you can see the chunks are slowly just fading out. And that's exactly what you want to get. Okay, now I've mixed that up. Just gonna run the fork through one more time. And I'm just gonna get as much of this as I can on there. If there's a few small chunks, you can see like there's a, a, a small chunk here. I'm just gonna break it up with my fork and I'm gonna get it in there because I'm now going to mix it up with a spatula just to help break up that flour even more. Now, this looks very dry and that's okay because I'm gonna put it on the stove to just meld and do its magic. And while it's doing that, we're gonna make pastry. Okay, so I'm all set to make my pastry. We've got our Frankie's flour, salt, eggs, sugar. I'm using an organic refined sugar, but you can use just plain white sugar and cold, cold butter. You want to start by mixing your sugar and your eggs. And the reason you're doing this is to that the sugar has a chance to melt a little bit, just in case of the granules are a bit coarse, then they're gonna soften right up. Okay, I'll set that aside. And in my mixer, I'm adding my flour, and my salt, and I'm gonna just quickly manually mix in the salt, just so that we don't have big clumps of salt and then my butter. So I'm mixing up the butter and the flour mixture first because you want the butter to just become into small pea-sized shapes. Okay, so that's all mixed in. I'm gonna add my wet mixture now, which is my egg and sugar. And you can actually see that the, the sugar is causing the eggs to cook a little bit. It's a chemical reaction. So you don't wanna crack your eggs and your sugar and have it sit there for too long or, well, you'll just have cooked eggs eventually. Okay, I'm gonna put this on and finish the mixing. It's amazing at just how fast it comes together. Just when you start to give up hope 
it pulls together and it becomes this beautiful pastry. What's nice about using gluten-free paste, uh, uh, sorry, gluten-free flour, is you can beat this and beat this and beat this, and it's not going to go tough on you. It's so flaky and tender. It's really, really quite nice. So I'll just scrape the paddle off. And it might look a little wet right now, and that's normal for any kind of pastry because you're going to be rolling it out on a floured surface. Okay, so. Put this up. And that's why I set aside a little bit of extra flour. There we go. And it just, it feels so nice. But you do want lots of flour on your surface. I have wooden countertops, but you can by all means use just any countertop you want. Marble works really nice because it keeps the, the, the butter cool. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this in half. I'm gonna keep half of it in my bowl. The other half, I'm gonna start rolling out. Beautifully, this rolls out. You don't want to go too thin. You don't want to be too thick. Too thick, and it'll feel like you're, it tastes like you're just eating pastry and not pie. And too thin, and you won't be able to hold your pie together. Oh. And I'm using my scraper just to help lift things up a little bit. Look at that, that's beautiful. That's a little bit more flour in there, just. So even if it does tear a little bit, the pastry is very forgiving. So you don't have to worry so much that if it sticks. Oh, look at that, that's gorgeous. Okay, let me slide that in like that. I'll take my knife, make sure it's all pressed down. Look at that. Oh, that looks great. So if there were holes in your pastry, this is the time to repair them but there's no holes. And as luck would have it, our strawberries have melted and warmed and started to thicken. I'm gonna give them another couple minutes just to thicken up. But it's not gonna take long. Look at that strawberry, oh, it looks Great. I'm just going to do a little bit of mashing just to get rid of the really big strawberries. Oh, look at that oh. Oh. That's why I love homemade strawberry pie. Okay, so, and you can see how beautifully thick that got. It just thickened up really well with the flour and the sugar made it a little bit sweet. Let me make sure it tastes good. You gotta taste it. Okay, so we're gonna pour that in. Just like that, maybe a little bit more. Look at that. Okay. So I'm gonna let that sit on the side and I'm gonna take the rest of my pastry And I'm gonna roll out a lid or a top. Okay. Get rid of that. 
It's not sticking anyway. There we go. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Okay. Again, this my scraper. A couple spots here and there. Now I bring my pie back. And we're going to roll this up. Slide this right on top. You can see there was a little crack there, but that's okay. Oh god, that looks great. Mm. Okay, so now we cut the edge. Oh, look at that. And we do a little something fancy. Look at that. Mm. Okay, and I like to mark out an S to signify strawberry. And the reason you put the holes in the top is to let the steam evaporate out. At this point, we can put some coarse sugar on top, just to, to give it a bit of a, a, a fun decorative top, but it can also just go in the oven like it is. So I'm gonna pop this in the oven, and we're gonna pull it out when it's done, and we're gonna have a slice of it, and we're gonna see what it's like. Look at this. It looks beautiful. And, oh, it smells so good. Let's cut into this and see what it's like. Oh, that crust looks flaky and tender. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Okay. Let's get this sliced slice out. Open. Look at that. Gorgeous. A few little crust crumbs. Because it hasn't set up entirely. Let's give this a try. Mmm. Mmm. I wish you could taste this. It's really good. Thank you for watching. Look for this recipe and others at glutenfreefrankies.com and I look forward to seeing you again next time.